This presentation is about the planning and creation of a workable school library budget, how they are established, what percentages of funds need to go for various resource types, and new legislation that impacts school libraries. Two links with more information are posted in a document in this week's module. One is a guide that explains LCFF, Local Control Funding Formulas, and another that provides links from the California Department of Education on funding. The school library requires adequate funding to establish and renew the library collection. Funds for the library are typically composed of categorical funds from the state. These funds are restricted to certain uses and or to serve particular groups of students, for example, English language learners. General funds are another source of funds for school libraries and are unrestricted funds that are allocated to districts, then to school sites, and then at the discretion of the school site council and the school administration, allocated to programs at the site. Both categorical funds and general funds come from both the federal government and the state. It is even more important today to engage in advocacy activities promoting the school library because funding formulas have changed dramatically. On July 1, 2013, Governor Jerry Brown signed into law the new Local Control Funding Formula, known as LCFF, which significantly changes how California funds its K-12 schools and gives school districts more authority over how the money will be spent. Therefore, schools have more freedom to spend on their libraries, but without the understanding of why they should, the monies could easily go elsewhere. If you are interested in finding out more about this legislation, including the level of funding, there are two links on the module for this week that will give you more information on this funding source. A general rule of thumb for the typical number of books per student in a school library is 10 per student, with 28 being the high target as identified in the model school library standards for California schools, which was adopted by the California State Board of Education in 2010. The materials that are counted should be relevant and updated resources to provide a balanced collection for all ages and all abilities. Approximately 60% of the typical school library collection should be nonfiction materials that support the curriculum. There should also be materials for leisure and free reading that includes popular fiction, music, audiobooks, and magazines. Students need access to electronic information resources that also support the curriculum and their personal interests. This should include access to the internet, full text database subscriptions, and instructional related software. An automated online catalog system should be in place and vendors require an annual technical support fee that needs to be built into the library budget. Well, some very good news for California schools was announced earlier this year for school libraries by Greg Lucas, the California State Librarian. California is now offering at no cost to local schools, districts, or students three online databases for use by every K-12 school and student in the state beginning this fall. Online content from Encyclopedia Britannica, ProQuest, and teachingbooks.net will be available at school, at home, in libraries, on laptops, on phones, to all K-12 educators, students, librarians, and administrators in the state. It's a simple idea. Help more California school kids succeed by being able to find more reliable information more easily where they look for it most online, said Greg Lucas. These content resources, commonly referred to as library databases, 
provide teachers and students with a massive online library of books, scientific research, newspaper articles, photos, videos, and more, all aligned with the curriculum that California has created for its schools. The State Department of Education estimates that roughly half of the state's 1,000 school districts do not provide library databases and other online content to encourage and assist their students. Those districts with subscriptions pay for them out of their own operating budgets. Starting in the 2018-19 school year, all school districts in California are welcome to use these online resources with the contracts paid at the state level. The budget plan should include an allocation for new books, periodicals, for non-print materials, an allocation for library supplies and electronic subscription fees. Since the state is providing three excellent online databases, the budget can be revised to either add a fourth or use the funds that might be spent in other ways. Library facilities also need regular attention to ensure that they are functioning in the best possible way and are safe for students. Note that the library staff are part of the regular staff budget for the site. Finally, here is a description of the materials that would be found in a typical school library and the general budget percentages they would represent in a high quality library. So that's all for now. We'll see you in our next presentation.